Cruise by Mandy. Decade is where the oceanfront is. And I'm going to start anywhere else other than uh, being a Texan. The Tex-Mex resident restaurant known as, well, let's go out here and you can see the name. But if you are familiar with Norwegian Cruise Line, you will recognize this name. It is one of the specialty restaurants and it is called Los Lobos. And I am actually missing my 30th class reunion as a Lobo for the Longview Lobos. But let's take a stroll here. As you can hear, there is noise over here in the local. Locale is what I call it. Locale, everything's low calories. It's usually open 24 hours. I think right now on this sailing, they are closing from three to five. You can see there are people in there. They have some great wings and spinach artichoke dip and the chicken salad sandwich is something I normally get. They have some great burgers, but let's head aft. So I'm at the aft elevator, so we're gonna head aft. What is different on this particular class of ship is they have split the local. On one side, you have the bar area, which is over here. And on the other side is the dining venue. So you do have this bar area. It is well after 1 a.m. And I thought I'd get my videos done thinking everybody would be asleep. And oh my goodness, that was a joke. So in this area, there's usually some live music playing during the day. It is scheduled, so you can watch the schedule. There's the Haven private elevators. So if you are in the Haven, you have your private access there. I love the private seating areas. And as we're walking along here, you can't see it right now, but outdoors is Oceanfront Boulevard. Oh my goodness, it is like 30% larger than the waterfront. And now we are entering Indulge Food Hall. Again, you could wash your hands. I'm not eating. I am just uh, stalking the, uh, the nighttime activity here. I love the open concept. And as you walk through the Indulge Food Hall here on Deck 8 of Norwegian Prima, it is open seating. Sit where you wish. Everything here is included except for Cocos for the desserts and Starbucks. So right here, tomorrow, Anything you order from the iPads on the general tables, you can get from anywhere. Usually if you're sitting at the bar, it's what's available there. You've got your coffees, teas, your normal drinks like the lemonade and juices. And then, oh my goodness, yes, Coke. They have finally moved from Pepsi to Coke. And I know better than drink one of those or my husband will probably be like have a connection with me. But as I mentioned, Coco's when it is open, it is your specialty desserts. They've got crepes and more artisan desserts. They are extra charged, so be aware of that. But all the iPads on the table, you've got lots of things. Noodles, oh my goodness. Excellent noodle choices. They are made fresh right here. Lunch and dinner, you do sit down and order from the iPads. You have open seating at breakfast and it's self-serve at breakfast, so they do have different options at breakfast. You can also go out back, and it's nighttime right now, obviously. But you can also have your Bloody Mary here at the Luna Bar or on the other side for the Sun Soleil. I still say the Soleil Bar is named for my BDM. So whatever Norwegian says is wrong. It's named for my BDM from Norwegian that um, first reached out to me. You have a food truck. Oh my gosh, these tapas. There is some crab meat tapas. And then you also have the Latin Quarter as well. Guacam guacamole, and if you're a Texan, like I am, and you need your Tex-Mex fix, chips and guacamole does great. Now, I mentioned breakfast is self-serve, and as you can see, they've already got the box cereals out for that. Moving over this direction, during the day, they have the desserts here, super yummy. Lots of options. You can do tables of two. Again, you can go outside and sit. They're not normal tables, but they are seating with some good tables. Options to sit here, all the salads right here at the garden. Lots of options on salads. The Starbucks is not included in your drink package unless you did the premium drink package, but the Starbucks can often be less crowded or busy than the main Starbucks at the atrium. So lots of different seating types. If you just want to have a, you know, a stool at a bar, a table for four or a larger table, you can do that as well. Over here is the rotisserie. They do have rotisserie chicken for lunch and dinner. This is not requiring a reservation. So you can do some different things here. And during the day, they do put these out. 
And again, it's nighttime, so you have your napkins and your utensils right there. Order from your iPad that is located on the table and it is brought to you. Your condiments can be right over here. The one thing I will say is during the morning for breakfast, you do kind of need to know where you're wanting to go. Um, Q, if you have cruised other Norwegian ships, Q is right here. It's my favorite breakfast item so far. They have chili con carne, and there's usually three different assortments of that here in the mornings. So you've got that as an option. And again, you've got the bar seating. So this is the adult food hall, deck eight aft, and lots of options. As you walk around, people are spread around. So if you get lost from one another, walk around until you find one another. Cruise by Mandy, signing off from Decade Aft in the Indulge Food Hall of Norwegian Prima.